What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today I want to talk about something that came with the new update that we have that you guys should really be careful of, because I've seen a lot of people, especially on our Discord, talking about buying out these guild treasure train tickets every single day, and that is just not a good look, let me tell you that much. Let's jump right into it, let's talk about it. Don't be buying them out every day, unless you need them for like an event or something like that, but even then it's just not... It's just not a smart plan. Let's jump right in. Let's talk about the math behind it. Because some people didn't even realize what it does. <laughs> Let's get going. So this is the issue that is arising. Yes, these treasure train resources, these treasure train treasures for Adventure Guild, they're pretty cool. They're nice extra stats. This one especially is really cool. Uh, but you don't really need them right away. And honestly, one thing that a lot of people are making the mistake of is in this new section, they are purchasing all 20 of these every single day. You guys saw it firsthand here. I think this takes, what, 310,000 gold solid dust every single day why is that because purchasing each one of these increases what it costs by 1000 um all the way up to a crazy high amount it's like twenty five thousand per or something like that on the last one so it goes from like six thousand six to twenty five yeah six, it should be like six to twenty five thousand which equals about three hundred and ten thousand of this gold solid us which isn't a big issue but the problem is you're gonna burn through your resources way way too fast like literally by the end you're paying what four times the price of a ticket for the first purchase you make every single day absolutely positively don't do that because again this is literally a daily purchase you don't need to rush this because yes you do have a ton of guild coins that you can convert into gold solid us but if you're doing it at too fast of a rate you're gonna run out sooner than later because let's be honest you can get what uh let's just say if you've got a bunch of them done you can get like 200 uh let me get the calculator open come on that's my calculator not running Calculator. Oh, geez, my PC is just acting up now. Calculator. There we go. <laughs> so 200 per hour times 24. You're getting about 4,800 per day, essentially. Um, okay, that's cool. You have, of course, your Guild Wars, which you're getting uh, 30K a week, essentially. Or not even a week. It's like every few weeks at this point. You are getting some Gold Solid us as well. Uh, you have things like Star Expedition that are giving actually 30k as well if you're in the first place. If you're in like the lower ranks, much, much less. And of course, you have the Guild Altar where it honestly might be worth competing in now because, uh, yeah, even all these might have been actually something that's like <laughs> you might want to go back and get eventually. We'll have to see. Uh, but competing in Guild Altar has become something that's actually important because, of course, you can get ranging from like 3,000 to like 9,000 ish, somewhere in that ballpark. Uh, guild coins per battle. I think even Ace Championship has some, right? Yeah, you get some for Ace Championship. It's not much. It's definitely not much, but you are eventually going to run out of it if you are hitting this button every day. So what you need to do is think about the long term. Buying, I'd say maybe five of these a day is probably fine because if you're doing that, you're doing what? So let's clear this out. If you start at 6,000, you're then purchasing 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and 10,000. That means you're burning through, what, 40,000 a day. That's not too bad. That's something I feel like you can slowly, it's a slow burn at that point. And then you're still accumulating these guild treasure coupons at a decent rate. Uh, just going for them way too fast is going to be way too big of an issue. So kind of do this at your own pace. Now, again, in the treasure train, uh, these do count for here. So if you're like... Uh, actually, wait, do they? No, they don't. These are just regular treasure train tickets. So the guild ones don't have anything attached to it per se. No, not, not at all. But, um, it's interesting. Really, really interesting. These collection tickets are cool. I think what we're going to do is we're going to save a bunch of them up and then do one at one time. But again, we're not purchasing them every single day and you guys shouldn't either. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you guys aren't making this mistake. See you guys next time.